Hello friend. In this video lecture, we are going to learn second problem of iteration method. First, write the problem. Example two. Use the iteration method. to find the real root of the equation sin x is equal to 10 into x minus 1 correct to three decimal places and write the solution first write the given problem given sin x is equal to 10 into x minus 1 let f of x is equal to sin x minus 10 into x minus 1 and we rewrite this equation as x is equal to 1 plus sin x upon 10 that is equation number 1 here we denote phi of x is equal to 1 plus sin x upon 10. Therefore, phi dash of x is equal to derivative of 1 is 0 and derivative of sin is cos. Cos x upon 10 less than 1. In 1 less than x less than phi. Also, max mod of phi dash of x is equal to cos pi upon 10 and that is equal to k less than 0 0.75. Therefore, the mod of xn minus xn minus 1 less than k less than 1 minus k upon k into value of epsilon is 10 raised to minus 3 which is equal to less than 1 minus 0 0.75 upon 0 0.75 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 and that is equal to 0 0.0003 taking here taking x0 is equal to 2 then x1 is equal to 1 plus sin x0 upon 10 and that is equal to 1 plus sin 2 upon 10 and that is uh, after calculation this value is equal to 1 1.09093 1.09093 and then find x2 
sin x2 is equal to 1 plus sin x1 upon 10 and that is equal to 1 plus sin of 1.09093 upon 10 and after calculation this value is equal to 1.08871 then x3 and here x3 is equal to 1 plus sin x2 upon 10 and that is 1 plus sin of 1.08871 upon 10 and after calculation this value is equal to 1.08863 then find x4 x4 is equal to 1 plus sin x3 upon 10 and that is equal to 1 plus sin of x3 value of x3 is 1.088603 upon 10 and after calculation this value is 1.088598 here we see that x3 and x4 value after uh, decimal 4.3 digit are same therefore this is uh, we consider this is the corrected value and now find the difference of these two value x4 minus x3 mod of x4 minus x3 that is equal to 1.088598 minus 1.088 603 and this is equal to 0 0.0001 and which is less than equal to 0 0.0003 and hence the required root of given equation is one point zero eight eight six and correct to three decimal place then we see in the next method newton rapson's method n e w t o n newton Rapson method. In this method, first we see the description. Let x0 be an approximate. root of f of x is equal to 0 and let x1 is equal to x0 plus h be the correct root so that f of x1 equal to 0 expanding f of x0 plus h by Taylor series we obtain f of x0 plus h into f dash of x0 plus h square upon 2 factorial into f2 dash of x0 plus up to next term that is equal to 0. Here neglecting here 
neglecting second and higher order derivative we have we have f of x0 plus h into f dash of x0 is equal to 0 and which gives h is equal to minus of f of x0 upon f dash of x0 and a better approximation of x0 is given by a better approximation then x0 is given by x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 upon f dash of x0 and successive approximation are given by x2 x3 xn plus 1 where xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn upon f dash of xn and which is the Newton Rapson formula. This is the Newton Rapson formula. Then we see the example of this method. First example is example. First write the example. Use the Newton Rapson method to find the root of equation x cube minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. Then write solution. First write the given equation let f of x is equal to x cube minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. That is equation number 1. Taking derivative. Taking derivative. f dash of x is equal to 3x minus 3x square minus 2 that is equation number 2 then now we know the now we know the formula of newton rapson uh, is x n plus 1 is equal to x n minus f of x n upon f dash of x n and here taking x0 is equal to 2 and then find the value of f of x0 that is means f of x2 f of x0 is equal to f of 2 is equal to 2 cube minus 2 into 2 minus 5 that is equal to minus 1. Here x0 is choose so we get negative value of function and then find the f dash of x f dash of x0 is equal to f dash of 2 is equal to 3 into 2 square minus 2 and that is equal to 
10. Here taking n is equal to 0 in equation 3. n is equal to 0 in equation 3. Then we get x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 upon x dash of x0. That is equal to 2 minus minus 1 upon 10. After calculating this value of x1 is 2.1. This is the value of x1. Now f of uh, we find f of x1. f of x1 is equal to f of 2.1 is equal to 2.1 raised to the power 3 minus 2 into 2.1 minus 5. After calculating, this value is equal to 0 0.061. And then find the f dash of x1. Means f dash of 2.1 and that is equal to 3 into 2.1 square minus 2 and that is equal to 11.23. Putting n is equal to 1 in equation 3, we have x2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 upon f dash of x1. That is equal to 2.1 minus 0 0.061 upon 11.23. After calculating, this value is equal to 2.09457. And hence the required root is hence the required root is two point zero nine four six. This is the example of Newton Epsilon method. Then we see the second example of this method, right, second example, using Newton Rapson method, find a real root of equation corrected to three decimal place of the equation sin x is equal to x by 2 and given that the root lies between pi by 2 to pi. First write the given equation then solution. Given equation is sin x is equal to x by 2. Let f of x is equal to sin x minus x by 2 that is equation 1 then f dash of x is equal to cos x minus 1 by 2 that is equation 2 now we know the uh, newton raphson formula that is x of n plus 1 is equal to x n minus f of x n upon f dash of x n. 
that is equation number three taking x0 is equal to 5 by 2 we obtain f of x0 is equal to f of pi by 2 is equal to sine pi by 2 minus pi by 2 minus pi by 2 upon 2 and that is equal to 0 0.2146 then f dash of x0 is equal to f dash of pi by 2 that is equal to sine pi by 2 minus pi by 2 upon 2 mm. that uh, this is wrong so f dash of pi by 2 is equal to cos of pi by 2 minus 1 by 2 after calculating this value is equal to minus 0 0.5 because cos pi by 2 is 0 and putting n is equal to 0 in equation 3 we get x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 upon f dash of x0 and put the value of this x0 is equal to pi by 2 minus 0 0.2146 upon 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 after calculating value of x1 x1 is equal to 1.9999 then now find the f of x1 and f of x1 is equal to f of 1.9999 and that is equal to sine of 1.9999 minus 1.9999 by 2 and after calculating this value is equal to minus 0 0.09061 then we put putting the find the f dash of x1 f dash of x1 that is equal to f dash of 1.9999 that is equal to cos of 1.9999 minus 1 by 2 after calculating this value is equal to minus 0 0.916 1 and putting n is equal to 1 in equation 3 putting n is equal to 1 in equation 3 we have x2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 upon f dash of x1 and that is equal to 1.9999 minus minus of 0 0.09061 upon minus of 0 0.9161 after calculating this value is equal to 1.900099 and now find f of x2 f of x2 here is equal to f of 1.90099 and putting this value sine of 1.9010 minus 1.9010 divided by 2 after calculating value of this equal to minus 0 0.0045 2 4 then find f dash of x2 f dash of x2 is equal to f dash of 
वन पॉइंट नाइन जीरो जीरो नाइन नाइन एंड डेट इज इक्वल टू कॉस ऑफ वन पॉइंट नाइन जीरो वन जीरो माइनस वन बाई टू आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग दिस वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट एट जीरो फोर टू पुटिंग एन इज इक्वल टू टू इन इक्वेशन थ्री वी हाव एक्स थ्री इज इक्वल टू एक्स टू माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स टू अपॉन एफ डैश ऑफ एक्स टू एंड डेट इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट नाइन जीरो वन जीरो माइनस माइनस ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फोर फाइव टू फोर अपॉन माइनस ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट एट टू फोर टू एंड आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग दिस वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट एट नाइन फाइव फाइव देन फाइन एफ ऑफ एक्स थ्री दैट इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ वन पॉइंट एट नाइन फाइव फाइव इज इक्वल टू साइन ऑफ वन पॉइंट एट नाइन फाइव फाइव माइनस वन पॉइंट एट नाइन फाइव फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय टू आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग दिस वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 फाइव देन फाइन एफ डैश ऑफ एक्स थ्री and that is equal to f dash of 1.89551 that is equal to cos of 1.89551 minus 0.5 and that is equal to minus 0.81903 putting n is equal to 3 in equation 3 we get x4 is equal to x3 minus f of x3 upon f dash of x3 That is equal to one point eight nine five five minus minus of zero point zero 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 five upon minus of zero point eight one nine zero three. After calculating, this value is equal to one point eight nine five four. And now. f of x4 that is equal to f of 1.8954 is equal to sin of 1.8954 minus 1.8954 upon 2 and that is equal to 0.000077 And then find f dash of x four. That is equal to f dash of one point eight nine five four is equal to cos of one point eight nine five four minus zero point five is equal to minus of zero point eight one eight nine three. And putting n is equal to four. In equation three, we get x five. X five is equal to x four minus f of x four upon f dash of x four. That is equal to one point eight nine five four. Minus zero point zero 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 seven seven upon minus of zero point eight one eight nine three. 
and after calculating this value is equal to 1.89549 hence the required uh, we see that x4 and x5 has a same value after uh, decimal point four digit are same therefore hence the required value is required root of given equation is 1.8955 because after 4 here number is 9 therefore here put 5 uh, and that is the correct value of given equation is 1.8955 thank you